We're testers. Yo, what's good guys? This is Nightwing2303 from Wartesters.com. Today we got a quick look at the recently released Under Armour Curry 2 Low. This is part of the Bay Area pack. So there were two shoes in the pack. There was a black and orange and then this guy here, which is white, green, and yellow. The black and orange resembles or is supposed to pay homage to the San Francisco Giants. And then this guy here is supposed to pay homage to the Oakland A's. Now me, I'm not a baseball guy at all. I, I don't like baseball. I think it's boring. If you like it, that's great. Not trying to offend anybody, so if you're sensitive, relax. But baseball is just not for me, but this colorway, not only is it super clean in person, because pictures of this shoe did absolutely no justice to them, I thought they were both hideous online, but they really remind me of the Seattle Supersonics. I am a basketball fan, I like basketball in general, so even though I'm a Dubs fan, I appreciate all aspects of the game and I really wish that Seattle would get the Sonics back, or at least establish a team and then call them the Sonics, because we all know that Oklahoma City is not going back to Seattle. But with that being said, let's go ahead and take a detailed look at the shoes. These guys feature full-length multi-directional herringbone and it's super aggressive. And what I mean by that is that this stuff sticks out of the outsole, basically is the outsole, it's not like within it, you know what I'm saying? So it's not, it's not inside, it is the outsole. And I personally love playing in the Curry 2 Lows. I've been playing in this one here and they're one of my favorite shoes to play in right now. As for the rest of the shoe, we have a Speedform upper and this is the best use of Speedform in the Curry 2 line. The logos and branding on the shoe are subtle but nice. You have the SC30 logo at the toe, you have a reflective Under Armour logo at the midfoot, and then you also have a reflective SC30 logo on the tongue. Inside the shoe you have a really nicely sculpted heel section. This is supposed to help with lockdown. Not lockdown as in not rolling over the footbed but just that pillow in the back is supposed to keep your heel from popping up and out of the shoe. Some people have actually complained that these guys lack heel lockdown or that they receive a heel slip. I personally haven't received anything like that. The pair that I play in though is a size 9 which is my true size and they fit very very snug. This pair I bought for casual use and I bought them in a size 9.5. They fit me perfect. So I do feel like that the Curry 2 Lows fit a slight bit small and maybe the people receiving heel slip issues actually tried them on and went up half a size or something like that being like oh I'm not sure about this they feel too tight. Me personally I broke in the shoe they're wonderful they're also ankle brace friendly which I need right now so I also dig that. But yeah I haven't had any heel issues whatsoever with the shoe and I think that they fit almost as good as the mid top version. We still have charged as the cushion system. It's not my favorite but it gets the job done. I personally love the way that this shoe looks. I'm really anticipating the chef colorway which is the all white. For whatever reason the original release date was pulled and they have not reset a new release date so we have no idea when those are coming out. But whenever they do I'm a cop pair because those are clean. As far as their performance, I will get into a small performance review per se. It won't be a, an in-depth detailed one just because a lot of the stuff that's on this shoe is similar or the same as the mid top. But the things that I did like differently in this shoe, I will explain in their performance quote unquote review when the time comes. And that pretty much takes care of it. So thank you guys for watching. Thanks for all your support. Again, as far as sizing is concerned, if you're playing in them, go true to size. But if you're just gonna wear them casually, I personally went up half a size for this particular pair. I feel like they fit perfect for casual use. So thank you guys again, and let me know what you guys think about this shoe. Did you grab any of the Curry 2 Lows? I think there's four colorways available right now. There's all black, which are just kind of, hmm. there's that red colorway that I have, which I don't like either. They're good enough to beat up on court though. Then you have the black and orange Giants colorway. Still not a fan. Then you got these bad boys right here. Best one so far. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Thank you so much for all your support and until next time guys, have a good one. The full on fly knit upper with the TPU reinforced strands. I personally really like this setup. I do wish that the TPU strands were minimized cushion system. So you have more impact protection here and then more of a responsive ride up front. And not only can you see the dual density setup, but you can also see